Do what? I don't know. Ah, uh, so eager. What's going on? Alright. Do you want to have fries? No, 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 no food on Fridays. No? No. Uh, so you do not. Uh, it's onions on Friday, right? Monday or Friday. Oh, you're crazy. Ah, uh, no. Good. What's happened? What happened? Why you don't eat the other good fitness? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> and fitness. <laughs> so can you drink the Starbucks? No, I, I, I have something like this. No calories. Oh, nice. Well, not really. I'm hungry for so well. Now. Ah, uh, now we have everyone. Can you see? Yeah. yeah. Not quite. Yeah. Marwan, maybe could you turn it a bit to the left? If, can you? Uh, <laughs> oh, the more, 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 more. Stop. There, perfect. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you. Do you not want to take out some paper, Ming? No. Yeah. Oh, good. Good idea, huh? Mm -hmm. Completing the square. What we're doing now? Oh yeah, so look, the first class is a lesson, but the second class, because it's the last class of the week, is a tutorial. Okay. So whatever problems you had for the week, we'll do them all in the second class, okay? So we'll just have the one lesson today, completing the square. One lesson. And then a tutorial. Oh. No, oh. no don't worry, you're not going home early, don't worry. <laughs> Now, <coughs> my goodness, son, you're so messy. Why? That's, that's your stuff, is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, can you all see okay? Yeah. In the last class, we did quadratics. And uh, what did we do? Guys, guys, come on. In the last class, we did quadratics, and what did we learn uh, about quadratics? What were we able to do now with quadratics? We can factorize the quadratics. Remember we did that? Yes. Factorize? Yeah. So today, we want to learn a process called uh, completing the square. Now, before we, we, we look at that in more detail, mm -hmm. just to get you warmed up, I would like you to expand this for me, please. It should only take you a minute. I want you all to expand this. 2x plus 3 squared plus 4. And if you need a little help, hint, x plus 3 squared equals x plus 3, x plus 3. Okay? Right, I'll give you one minute. I want you to expand this, okay? Expand it. Okay. Yeah, one minute, one minute. Okay, you got that? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. So, you have 2, and then this becomes x squared plus 6x plus 9 plus 4. And then this becomes 2x squared plus 12x uh, plus 18 plus 4 plus 22? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 So... If we want to go from this form mm -hmm. to this form, we say we expand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But if we want to go from this form back to this form, we complete the square. That's what we're going to learn today, how to complete the square. Mm -hmm. Complete the square means to go from this back to this form. Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. 
So let's have a look at some examples. I'll show you, I'll teach you the process. I don't uh, think it's too difficult, but it's, it's quite useful. Can I scroll down? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So here's the process. I'll give you an example. X squared plus 6X plus 18. So again, um, like last time, this is, well, what, what do we call this type of quadratic? Monic. monic. Because of the one here. Yeah. We like monic. It's easier. So what you do, you do bracket, bracket, square, and you have a X and a number here and a number here. Mm -hmm. To get this number here, you half the plus 6. So what's half of plus 6? Mm -hmm. Plus 3. Mm -hmm. Okay. And to get this number here, you do 18 minus, and it's always minus, always, 6, oh sorry, not 6, 3 squared, yeah. And the 3 is the previous 3, the, the 3 you just got. So 18 minus 9 is positive 9, okay? Now, you don't have to, but let's check. So if I expand here, I get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Mm -hmm. Plus 9. Mm -hmm. Is that the same as this? Mm -hmm. Yes. So it worked. Now, I'll, I'll do some more examples. Write that down. That's our first example. Question? No, you can't. Can you see okay? Yes. Yeah. You got that? No. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now let me give you one, let's see how quick you can do it. I want you to complete the square for x squared plus 10x plus 28. So, see how quick you can do it. It'll only take you a few seconds. 10. Yep, yeah. finished. So, it's x plus 5 squared plus 3. And how did you get the tree? 28 minus 5 squared. Yeah. Right. What? Let's do... What's wrong? Are you sure? Okay, let's do, let me give you another one. Uh, complete the square for x squared minus 10x minus 28. Be careful. Okay, mm -hmm. so what's first? X minus 5 squared. And now you have to be careful here. It's minus 28 yeah. minus 25. So that's minus 52? 53? 53. Okay, you have to be careful with your signs here. 53? Isn't it? Minus 28 minus 25. Yeah? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. You have this? Yes. Yeah? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Question? Say again? Completing the square is just the expression we use in English. It's like a verb to complete the square. It means to write the quadratic in this form. Yeah, so we can think of complete the square as a verb, like factorize. 
So I could say to you, complete the square of this. Um, so just think of it as a verb. And then, I guess if you want to use a noun, you could say, this is now in completed square form. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? I write CTS for short for complete the square. So I'm using it like a verb. Complete the square of this. Okay? Are we happy with that vocabulary? Sure. Yeah? Okay. Now, what do we do if it's not monic? Not monic. Not monic. So, for example, let's say we have something like 7x... Well, no, I'll pick an easier one. Not, not, don't have to go straight to 7. Uh, 2. 2x squared plus 5x plus 6. Does anybody have any suggestions or ideas for what we could do here? Say again? Now, I know what you mean, but it's the wrong verb. Because it's, it's, we don't divide by 2 because it's not equal to anything. So it's a different verb. But I know what you mean. Take the 2 out, yeah. Sorry, it's the, that's the verb. So factor the 2 out. So that's equal to 2 bracket x squared plus, if I take out the 2, what's the next number? 5 over 2 x 3. Oh, no, there's more to go. <laughs> now we can complete the square. So what's first? X plus a half of 5 over 2. Five over two. That's 5 over 4 squared. Mm -hmm. And then the number at the back is 3 minus what? Minus, 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 minus 25 minus over 16. 16. Yeah. Three, so that's 75. Oh, oh, I can't do two cards. It's a long <laughs> week. What's 3 minus 25 over 16, Maron? What is it? 23 over 16. Thank you. Plus, is it? Yeah. Yeah. 23 minus 25 over 4. 45 over 4. Why are you getting the 45? Because you square 45 over 4. Yeah. There's 25 over 16, isn't it? Yeah. I hope so. Yeah, okay. Don't worry me. Uh, right. Okay, that's okay. What's the last thing to do, do you think? Uh, okay. Multiply by 2. Multiply by 2, yeah. So that's 2 bracket x plus 5 over 4 squared mm -hmm. plus 23 over 8. eight. Okay, okay. Yeah. I multiplied it by two. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Now write that down, please, and then I'll give you one to try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, complete the square. Two x squared minus five x minus six this time. Okay. Got it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. What's your question? Well, what's 5 over 4 squared? Yeah, but why over 4 squared? We shouldn't have it. Huh? 
Because we have Hang on, hang on. What do you think I should have instead of 5 over 4? 5 over 4. No, no, no. Actually, let's, let's check. Uh, this line, okay. That's the question. You agree with this line? Uh, yeah. That, you're happy with that? No problems there. Right. Are you happy with this line? Uh, no. No, okay. Which number is wrong? 23 over 16. Okay. Why? Because it should be 3 minus 25 over 16. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I hope. Yeah. Because in the previous question, we square the x term. We squared which term? The x term, the second term. This, this thing? Is that what you mean? Uh, no. This one. This one. Half of this one. Oh. Half of this yeah, one. Yeah, I'm sorry. No? Is it okay? Yeah, just get five. Oh, that's okay. Um, sure, I'm going to do another example now, anyways. Uh, 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 Abdul Rahman. Can I scroll down to it? Right, what do I do first? Take out. No. Take out 2. x squared minus 5 over 2x minus 3. Now I complete the square. That's x minus 5 over 4 squared. And now to get this number here, uh, Rahman, is minus 3 mm -hmm. minus 25 over 16. Yeah. Yeah? Which is? 70 over 4. 70 over 4, is it? 17. 17 over 4. Like that. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, no. no. <laughs> what is it? Minus 3. Minus 3 minus 25 over 16. Minus 73 over 16. Okay. That seems better. So if I multiply by 2, I get 2. Mm -hmm. X minus 5 over 4 squared minus 73 over... Eight. Sorry, sorry, my, my mistake. 8. Can I scroll down? No. Yes? Yes. yes? Yeah, okay. So why is complete the square useful? Many reasons. Let me give you one example. So suppose I have y equals, I don't know, x squared plus 4x plus 20. If I complete the square, I get y equals x plus 2 squared plus 16. Yeah. Now this is actually a useful form because I can tell you something. I can promise you no matter what value of x you use, the value of y will always be at least 16. You pick any number of x, you put x into this, I know your answer will be at least 16. And the way I know this is by looking at the completed square. Because if you look at this, this here, what is the smallest that this can be? Zero. It's at least zero. Can it be negative? No. No, no because? Square. Square. Oh, it's a square. What's the smallest this can be? 16. 16. 16. What's the biggest it can be? 16. Yeah. What is it always going to be? 16. 16. <laughs> okay. So why must be at least 0 plus 16. I can't make it any smaller. Right? I mean, this is always 16, and this is at least 0. 
So y is always more than or equal to 16. Mm -hmm. So the minimum value of y is 16. But what is the okay. value of x that will give me this minimum value of y? What x must I use? No, not 0. Minus 2. Because only when x is minus 2 can I make this piece 0. So you can test it. If you put minus 2 into the original, you will get a value of 16. And that will be the smallest value you can get. You maybe know the graph already. You know the graph of a quadratic? It's like this, yeah. yeah. So what you're saying is this point here is minus 2, 16. Okay? Now, I'll give you one to try. I want you to tell me the... So write that down and then tell me the minimum value of y if y equals... Let's keep it simple again. x squared, no, let's say minus 4x plus 10. Tell me the minimum value of y. Got it? Yeah. So what's the minimum value? So here you have y equals x minus 2 squared, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, plus 6. Mm -hmm. So y must be at least 6. six. Mm -hmm. When, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and y will equal the minimum when x will equal 2. Um, does, does anybody know the name of this point? It has a name. The lowest, the lowest point. I like it. Uh, it has another name. <laughs> what is it? C? Critical? Nah, something else maybe. Begins with a T. The turning point. It has another name. You lowest point, minimum point, has another name. No, no, this is still a minimum. Mm -hmm. But you're right. Situations could be maximum. It's also called the vertex. I don't think this is right. Yeah. Um. I think it can apply. Yeah. No, it's like like a point, like on a triangle, nearly. That's a good mm -hmm. question. I've seen people use it to me in, um, for curved points as well. Well, vertex is singular, yeah. and vertices is plural. <coughs> you know, yeah, yeah, uh, Dami, you can use vertex uh, on the quadratic, even though it's a curve. But I get what you're saying, that usually you see it used at points like uh, the four vertices of a square or something, yeah. Uh, okay, do you have that written down? Yeah. Let me give you a harder one to try. Uh, I want the maximum value of y if y equals minus x squared minus x minus 1. Yeah, maximum.
Okay. Got it? Yeah. So what I'll do first is I'll take out the minus. X squared plus X plus 1. Yeah? yeah. And this is equal to minus uh, X plus a half, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Squared and then 1 minus 3 quarters? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So Y equals minus X plus a half squared plus three quarters and I'm going to write it like this mm -hmm. y right. equals oh sorry minus, thank you yeah. uh, minus yeah. three quarters minus x plus a half squared now if you think about it this you start with y equals minus three quarters and then you make it smaller by minusing this from it you know let's say you start with ten and you minus 1, then it becomes smaller. You minus 2, it becomes even smaller. So if I want to make this a maximum, then again, this has to be 0. So you don't minus anything. You don't subtract anything. So y must be uh, less than or equal to minus 3 quarters. Okay? The biggest value of y is minus 3 quarters. Everything else will be smaller than this because you're always minusing something from it. And this happens when x equals minus a half. So what's happening here in this one is the graph looks like this. So at minus a half you get minus 3 quarters and everywhere else is smaller than this. Okay, so that, that's a harder one now. Yeah? So I can zoom out, yeah. <coughs> Tell me when you have it, so. Okay, so I'm going to give you now a, 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 a two, another example here. So suppose I want to do something like prove 5x squared minus 50x plus 130 is always positive. No matter what value of x you pick, this quadratic will always be positive. How will we prove that? Same way we did the other questions, by completing the square. So first I'll take out the 5. And I have x squared minus 10x plus, what's that, 65? No, of course not. Sorry, 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 sorry. 20, 26. Sorry. Like this. 5 x minus 5 squared plus 1. Yeah? yeah. 5 x minus 5 squared plus 5. Yeah? Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, I didn't mean of. I meant this. Sorry. Yeah, just bigger, not equals, sorry. Uh, okay, and this ends the proof. Because this here is always mm -hmm. more than zero. 
And this is also more than zero. And what happens if you add two numbers which are more than zero? The result is also more than zero. And this ends the proof. A little difficult. It's not too bad. Because <laughs> this coffee is no na uh, no energy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not enough maybe. Okay. Did you write that down? Do you, you have that written down? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you add two positive numbers, the result is positive. Okay, can I scroll down? Yeah. 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 Now, let me give you a tough one to try. So I tell you, find B and C in Y equals minus X squared plus BX plus C. And um, if The turning point is six minus forty two, and the y intercept. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not minus forty two. It's still six though. It's still six. If the turning point is at x equals six, but I don't tell you the y, and the y intercept is minus 42, at y equals minus 42. So I've given you two pieces of information but each piece is incomplete. I tell you the x for the turning point, but I don't tell you the y. Okay, well I tell you the y-intercept is minus 42, and you know what the x should be here. If it's the y-intercept, what should the x be? Zero. Yeah, it should be zero, shouldn't it? Okay, there's enough information here and here for you to figure out what the b and the c is. Let's see if you can do that. Okay, what do we think? We got an answer? No? Mm. 
now, who has who has an answer? And you'll see. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> great. What's C, uh, Abdul Rahman? Um, Correct. Do you know B? I don't know if it's six. Let's find out. Let's find out. So, if you sub in zero minus forty-two, right? You get y equals zero. Oh, sorry. You get minus forty-two equals minus zero plus zero minus forty plus c. So c must equal. Minus 42. Okay? Y equals minus x squared plus bx minus 42. Now, how do we get the b? Well, look. Let's try and find the turning point. So what should I do first? I should take out minus. Yeah? Next... <coughs> What do I have here? Yeah, squared plus, now 42 minus the square of this. But I don't care about that part. It's not important. Because I can see here, clearly, x must equal b over 2. But earlier, I told you where the turning point is. When x is 6. So if you combine them, you can get this result. 6 equals b over 2. And so b equals 12. So this means the answer is y equals minus x squared plus 12x minus 42. Okay, did you write that down? No? Okay. <coughs> okay, you got that? Yeah? Yeah. So what we'll do, uh, homework questions, which you can start now, and then in a few minutes we'll have a tutorial. Okay. I hope you have lots of questions for me. Um, so we'll say 1AB, 2AB, 3AB, 4AB, 5AB, 6AB. A E. Oh, I'm changing it up for the last one. <laughs> right. Can you write them down? No. Let's put the light on for a few minutes. Uh, Too bright, huh? Yeah. Oh, come on.
Did you write those ones down? Yeah. Yeah.